Hello everybody, I'm back. How's it going? I am going to try to do another St. Patty's look. Now, I have one little problem with doing this particular look because I've actually already done it once and it looks spectacular. Glitter and everything. And then I looked at all the films, the stills, everything. The green came out blue. All the rest of the green, like this stuff, was fine. It was green. But a color in one of my palettes that's supposed to be green. It's a very intense green. I showed it to my husband and he's looking at it going, what happened here? It was blue. It was blue. And I tried to color correct and all that other stuff. And then I finally just said, skip it. I'll do it again. Anyway, what I'm doing this time and what I was trying to do that last time is more something you would expect to see in an American pub crawl for St. Pat's Day. And let me tell you, it can be interesting. There are some places like Old Town Alexandria, Virginia, that has a very long history. And they've got a fair collection of Irish pubs. Yes, I'm doing these. Because it is not the kind of pub you read about where up until a certain hour the kids are welcome. You can come in and have lunch with your family. Um, that kind of thing. And then after a certain hour the kids are told to go home because the adults looking to overindulge in adult beverages are more likely to show up after that hour. And I'm going what the hoo-ha? That sounds like such a nice idea, being able to take your kids places like that. And it's, you know, it's all part of the, you know, the way everything is run so completely different. And I would love it, okay? I would love to have that kind of a setup somewhere near me. But I don't have that. I have American pubs. Okay? Okay. If they open for lunch, it's limited. There's a lot of them that do not open until later in the afternoon when those people looking for adult beverages are on their way in from being on work. And then we get what we get. It's like, no, you cannot bring your children to this kind of a pub. They are illegal. Anyway, since that other palette did me dirty, I got my Delancey Avocado Green out. And I checked. I looked at the monitor. I looked at a clip of film. I clip looked at a still and it was green. It was green on my skin. It was green in the palette. Now the other one that I'm whining about was in fact green in the dang palette, which is why I was so confused. Even when I held it up to the camera, it looked green in the palette. So yeah, this was just weirdness. All kinds of weirdness. And yes, I've been rearranging my room again some. I will probably be rearranging it from now till the end of time. I just, I rearrange. I think I've pretty much got my camera where I want it. I'm still fiddling with the lights a little bit. Because sometimes the lights are just so bright, it washes everything out. And I'm pretty pale to start with. And sometimes, even though I've got the lights set where I always set them, it's too dark. 
And then, yeah, you can see some things better and some things much, much worse. I'm going to be moving my little hanging thing behind me so that there's more of it can be seen. Because with the other prior setup, I had the camera much farther towards that way. And you can see higher up on the, on the board. So those things that are hung really high don't get seen anymore. Clean brushes, okay? I'm, ba I'm back to washing my brushes. I'm being a good girl. I'm trying. Well, anyway, let's get this party started. I'm going to try not to blind you. This has got a mirror in it. I'm trying to figure out what I want to start with this time. And I think I'm going to take this green shade right here in the middle. Because, you see, I started with that green that I thought was so pretty that turned blue. And now I'm going, all right, let's, yeah, no. Make my head hurt. And you better stay green, you sad thing. If I have to do this again, because some color came out weird, I'm going to be more than a little annoyed. Who me? Do I talk to myself all the time? I just pretend I'm talking to you guys. See, you're handy. But, okay, so far so good. It looks green in the mirror. Pretty much looks green on the monitor. I will be happy if it comes out looking green on the film. Yes, I know. It's not really film. It's digital ding dong. Now, some of the people that go out on these St. Pat's Day pub crawls, they're just intense about all of a sudden being Irish. Some of them wouldn't know the first thing about Irish history if you hit them with a book. Some of them are only Irish on St. Pat's Day. And yes, I'm saying St. Pat's Day because that's pretty much how they look at it around. It's like, unless they're Catholic, they don't really put too much emphasis on St. Patrick. Most of them have no idea why St. Patrick has such a big story and gets a part of it. And it's like, guys, let me give you a clue. The Irish are not drinking green beer. See, I know a little something, just a little, because I've paid attention. I mean, I've even got my Guinness t-shirt on. <clears throat> you know, they're not the, the Irish are not going to be peeing green for the next two weeks because they drank all that green beer. It's, you know, I don't know what gets into these people, I swear. And... There's a bunch of them, if they go into one of the Irish pubs, they don't know the first thing about most of the Irish politics and the history of the Irish politics and the history of the separation between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. However, there's always some knucklehead. Okay, that's this one here. There's always some knucklehead who convinces somebody to put on an orange t-shirt or something similar 
and go into the Irish bar. I'm going to go back to calling it a bar because it's not really a pub anyhow. Even if the name says so. Anyway. And the thing is, most of these people end up fighting with the guy with the orange t-shirt just because they're drunk. Not because they actually understand anything about the separation and the politics. They just know if somebody's wearing an orange shirt, they're going to start a fight. And I'm going, gee, Monet, could you at least learn about politics before you start practicing Shalala law in the midst of this, this, you know, middle of America? Bar. <sighs> Very annoying. Okay. Now. I've got some darker stuff down this way. This one's mostly a mat that I've gotten some shimmer kind of fluffed into. And this one is a bit glitzy but it's also kind of an olive draft so i will probably be playing with these to darken up the outside it's got that that olive drab has got some shimmer to it but it's not a lot anyway so these people are fighting, and the green beer is flying everywhere. And they have no idea why they're doing any of this. Now you get a few people who will show up at things like the Patrick's Day Parade and that kind of thing, where you've actually got some people who know what all is going on. They have a clue. Not a big clue, but a clue. But in most cases, these people, their great-grandparents were the last ones who were actually in Ireland. But they all start walking around. <clears throat> and the drunker they get, the more you hear Faith and Begora. And I'm going, oh, God. And if it's not Faith and Begora, it's Aaron Bra. And if you happen to have someone in your office of the female persuasion, all of a sudden, some of the people who are just jerks turn it into Aaron Gobrala. So I've got a friend of mine who's named Erin, E-R-I-N. And she's a paramedic and a very responsible lady. And they still hit her with the Aaron Gobrala's routine. And I'm like, you guys got no cooth. Just none. And usually if somebody says it one time too many, she will take them out of the festivities with prejudice if necessary. Um, the other thing is they'll be doing all of this strutting around with the faith in Begora and, you know, again, with the not knowing the actual politics of what happened in Ireland before their great-grandparents left and came over here. They don't even know about the gangs and the pogroms and the, the Irish need not apply that happened over here. Okay? They don't get it. They don't know. And still, they will be heard to shout up the rebels with a mug of green beer in their hand for the salute. Sometimes I wonder about people. I really do. 
I start to wonder if some of them even have a brain to start with. Now, the other thing about the American version of St. Patty's Day going out to get drunk is there must be glitter. There must be green. There must be green glitter. Now, I have several different versions of glitter glitter. This one happens to be the elf glitter glitter. And I'm kind of fond of it because this one is called Sheer. And even though it's got kind of a creamy color to it when you first put it on, once it dries and has a hold of your glitter, it's pretty good about ignoring everything else. And it doesn't mess with your color. I'm going to pick up some of the gold glitter from in this palette on a brush because I don't like to get it stuck to my fingers. And I'm just going to pat it all over where I put the glitter glue. And then kind of let it just kind of fade off over in this direction. Getting a little glitter glue on your finger is one thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, allergy season is starting to set in already. Glitter. I'm just going to brush a little bit along under the brow with whatever's left on the little brush. Now, please remember if you go out and wear glitter like this, please wash your face before you go to bed. Get the glitter off carefully. Make sure it's off. The last thing you want is to have pink eye because your eye has gotten scratched up by the glitter. And never use craft glitter. Ever. Not for any reason. I don't care if you can't find your other no craft glitter. That stuff has sharp edges like you would not believe. Glitter is a big thing. I mean, they're going out clubbing. So, you know, some of the glitter has got to really shine. For a lot of people in the U.S., St. Pat's Day is nearly as big as Mardi Gras. But Mardi Gras is pretty much, you know, contained in one space down in Louisiana. And St. Pat's gets loose all over the place. It just, it's out there, everywhere. Every place people think they can get away. Set that aside for just a few minutes. Let this kind of settle down. But there's pretty much the start of this. I'm still going to be playing with a few other things. But that'll take me a few minutes. And what I'm going to do now is bebop off of here. Stick my eyebrows on. Yes, stick my eyebrows on and put a little other stuff on my face so that I don't look like I'm dead already. Now, some people 
make it out of doing the St. Patrick's Day routine because of the virus and things are being shut down. But some of these people will not care. They will go out so they can drink their green beer. If the bar is open, their sorry selves will be there. Anyway, I will be back in, well, for you guys, pretty close to a snap second. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got some face on and some powder and my eyebrows. And I ran some of the same colors right up under my eyes. Just picked up the brush and played. Same colors, pretty much just kind of wipe the brush off under my eyes. Haven't done much of anything else yet. Kind of blended a little bit here and there. But, you know, nothing strenuous. Okay, a couple of people have asked me about the fans. Dollar Tree. Well, I got this one at Dollar Tree. I got this one at Dollar Tree. I got this one for a dollar from Shop Miss A. And I got this one from Dollar Tree. I'm working on collections. So, you know, I've got the green one that works with Patty's Day and Spring. I've got the one with the flowers that works for summer. This one works for Valentine's Day. I usually use this one around Halloween. You know, yeah, just play. Go play. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a little bronzer on and a little blush. Now, in my latest Ipsy bag, and I used this with the first one that I did that actually got put up. This is from Pacifica. It's a 100% vegan and cruelty free and yes, I looked up the ingredients There is no carmine. There is no beeswax Got it No, I don't remember the color of the duo. There was a sticker on the back of this silly little mirror down here and I went to move it to the top so I could see it and it disappeared It kind of fell off or something However, I am finding that this particular duo I am in love with. The colors are subtle. And yeah, I don't normally go for subtle on things like my eyes, but some of the other stuff, I, I'm not, I don't want it to take over, you know? So, a subtle bronzer on somebody who's, you know, chicken breast pale is great. This soft, rosy, dusty rose blush is enough. It puts a little color on the face. See? Little color. But it doesn't like stand out like big splotches of bright red rouge. Now there are times for 
really intense stuff, including on the edges of the face. This time of night, sitting here doing this, and probably won't get it up till the next day, because I've still got to do all the editing and stuff. I love this. I lo this is the first Pacifica product that I've gotten a hold of, and I am in love. Absolute love. Let me see if I can coax this. This is gold eyeliner. And it's not going to work to try to put it over the glitter. But I want to see if I can get it to show up out here. Because I want to. The thing is, the gold is so pale that it's hard to get it to show up. No matter where you're putting it. Kind of underline the darker cream eyeliner that I've got on way out here in the, in the fields. Okay, yeah, not a lot of payoff. Then again, this poor thing's a little old and I've just, you know, kept refreshing it. I think it's time to retire it. Got a little mascara on. Not a bunch. I'm going to put a second coat on in just a little bit. But one of the things I'm going to do is going to require some more glitter glue. Because what I'm going to do is play Spark the Cheek. Spark the Cheek. And I'm going to take another brush. Because I've been monkeying with the one that I was using for the gold. See, there's this really bright lime green in here. And I've got that tucked a little bit into the corners. Doesn't show up much, but hey, what the heck. I'm going to take the dark green glitter and the apple green glitter. And I'm going to mix them a little bit and go ping, ping, ping. I'm going to start with the apple green. And just kind of bonky, 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 bonky. And then I'm going to go pick up the dark green, which would probably be great at Christmas. And go bonky, bonky, bonky. I have little tiny green freckles on my nose now. Just for the heck of it. Yes, I'm putting a couple of little green spots on my nose without the glue. Alright, now let me set up the other side. So it's got the sticky stuff. Try to get it kind of even. Yes, I don't mind getting the glue on my fingers a little bit because that'll wash off. But once you get the uh, <clears throat> the glitter mixed into this, oh honey, you'll never get it off your hands. It'll be everywhere. So, yeah. And do the same kind of thing. Pick up the apple green, which is a really pretty shade of green. 
just kind of bop it around all over the place here and there. And let me tell you, yes, the crazy people going out to get drunk saying in the U.S. that on St. Patrick's Day everybody is Irish. So yeah, they would do this. In a skinny minute. And the next day, the streets will be full of trash. And people will have crashed their cars because they can't listen to the here, take an Uber. I'm not kidding. Put a little glitter there and yes they would do that so that they could leave glitter on whoever got the kiss me I'm Irish kiss <clears throat> I'm gonna take my mermaid lip gloss I like it because it's got all those subtle greens and blues. But it's also just sticky enough. That'll hold some of the glitter. Oh, don't worry, this is going back on. You don't dare go out to a bar for this kind of thing without going over the top. And then you go find your Mardi Gras throws. And if you've got any leftover Mardi Gras throws that are in green and gold, right on. Now, these crazy people will also do stuff like at the office, <clears throat> if you're not wearing green, and I mean wearing green, they will pinch you black, blue, and bloody because you're not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day. That's another one of the, the American weirdnesses. I've never understood it. Now, I had been hoping my new hair dye would have been here before this. They didn't make it. I'm going to go a shade of green for this summer. See, I've even got green and gold in the earrings. Now, my earrings are being held on rather strangely. Now, some people might think of it as strangely. For those of you who have been around for a while, you've heard me discussing my ear stretching journey and I've currently got some basic flares in and I've got a six gauge down here and an eight gauge up here see and just basic little tunnel flares and what I do is I've got a fairly large collection of post earrings and if you've ever seen the little silicone bullet shape earring holders, 
that go on the post. If you flip them around so that the narrow end is headed into the flare, it will fit into some of the smaller flares just fine and slide onto the post and settle itself right there in that little flare and hold your earring on. Now, some of my earrings, the ones that are on wires and things, I'm using, you know, some basic short barbells <clears throat> to pass through the flare, but you take the wire off the earring and run that barbell through that little top bail, no big deal. Your earrings stay put. And it's really handy. Now, when I started doing this, I, I ordered, let's see, how many did they say were in this? This is a thousand little silicone earring bullets. A thousand. Paid a couple of bucks for it, all right? All right. Anyway, it works. This is an American pub crawl look for St. Patrick's Day. Tell me what you think. No, really, go ahead. Tell me what you think. If you are, in fact, Irish, go ahead and laugh. It'll do you good. Anyway, I'll see you again the next time I show up. Until then, be good.